to the Contemporary Comrades Podcast. Uh, it's your boy Big J leading us off again. Uh, we have, of course, the wonderful Adam. Say what's up to the people. What's up to the people, the one fan? Always a pleasure talking to you. Oh, yeah. And, of course, we have the magnificent Corn. Say what's up to the people. Yo, 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 yo. What up, what up, what up? Y'all can't see this motherfucker with his fro. His fro, fro crispy, bro. Like he grabbed the extra crispy fro from KFC before he before we did this podcast. So that's a, that's a delightful fro for sure. Uh, makes me makes me pine for a fro of my own, but I, that can't sure. happen. So <laughs> you can get you can get a little Jew fro going or some something something like that. No, no. Yeah, but I'm, I'm also not Jew, not Jewish, so <laughs> exactly that'd be false. <laughs> uh, false anyway, we got <laughs> false, false prophet, uh, if you if you will. <laughs> oh, oh shit. All right. All right, so anyway, we got a little interesting topic today. Uh, this is for all of our space cadets out in the listening audience and anybody who's who's even spent a remote amount of time thinking about reality from a uh, from a uh, a wide angle lens, if you will. Um, the topic for tonight is is reality a simulation? That's the main topic. And if and if it is, then why? If it's not, then why? We're going to go into a couple of the reasons why people might say it's a simulation, why they might not. And that's probably going to snowball into uh, is reality pre-scripted? Are our futures predetermined before we're born? Uh, and, you know, we, that can tie in a whole lot of things like zodiac symbols. That can tie into uh, numerology with your name and your birth date. Uh, there's a lot of things that, that can go into that. Um, yeah. Good shit all and, right. and the rest we're probably going to snowball and we're going to rant and, you know, our usual, our usual uh, bullshit. Uh, <laughs> But I wanted to start off just basically talking about reality being a simulation. Uh, people, when 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 you when you say, "Oh, reality is a simulation, man," people tend to think that that means that it's a computer program. Uh, I, for one, don't necessarily think reality is a simulation. But if it were to be a simulation, I would not expect it to be a computer program. Uh, yeah, like if if yeah. if, you, if if you literally Google simulated reality. Uh, uh, Rene Descartes, uh, the uh, philosopher, uh, and uh, and Hans Moravec, they they were kind of the first few people to kind of talk about this. Uh, they state that at least one of the following statements may very likely be able to be true: uh, human civilization or a comparable civilization is unlikely to reach a level of technological maturity capable of producing simulated realities. I think that's already been debunked as uh, as possible. You know, we have the Large Hydrogen Collider, where we basically collide atoms together, and we can make black holes, which is a reality inside yeah, of the, yeah, the, black, the new black hole footage. That was that was incredible. Just yeah, they have footage it. of black holes now, but we can create black holes as well. But they don't want to tell you that. Look no. up, uh, <laughs> you know, research CERN. Look up Would Large Hydrogen Collider. Would you, yeah, yeah. No, seriously, would you though? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and they also said that any entities with our general set of experiences are almost certainly living in a simulation um, which is interesting which is an interesting thought to me because we wake up every day we feel like we feel like you know we we create you know each day is a clean slate you know what I'm saying like if, as far as as far as how you wake up and how you want to attack the world like yeah. Right. Yesterday, yesterday I felt like shit. Today I'm gonna wake up, and I'm gonna I'm gonna get to work 30 minutes early. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna knock out all my morning tasks easily, and then yeah. and then next thing you know, shit happens outside of your control, and then that whole positive energy you had throughout the day, or you thought you was gonna have, is now diminished because of some bullshit. Oh yeah. You know? yeah, for sure that happens to everyone at some point. Um, and another thing, you have to re really accept self awareness to make a change. You know in any kind of way if you just if you just accept your your awful habits or your your routine if it's good or bad 
yeah, you're going to be like, like clockwork and feel like a robot. So, you know, self, being self-aware is crucial to any form of breakout. And I ain't talking zits. So yeah, I'm sure you guys can, you know, understand that. Yeah. And, uh, we're talking, we're talking like the whole simulation thing. Yeah. I don't think having, there's a controller, you know, who would be like in charge of these, of these billions of people. Well, actually, hold on. Before we even get into that, let's just ask, let's just ask you guys. I already stated that I do not think that we live in a quote unquote simulation. I'll, I'll explain my position a little bit more in depth later adam do you right. think do you think that we that reality is simulated uh see i don't think it could be because there's so many fictional outlets that you can also you know get involved with like i don't think that, that a creative mind would, would exist if, if this was simulation because um then you you'd feel like all that stuff would all be able to happen in reality like i feel like you, you'd be able to live like a dream if things were being controlled or things were like all stitched together and being carried out by fate or something else if you will because like i don't feel like all the cool mystical things that you can think up would be out of reach if if we were living in a a predetermined fate you know right say that lessons again just i just like so like uh, like fiction and fantasy i don't think those things would exist outside of reality if reality wasn't within our control like if, if we were all being stitched around like puppets I feel like you'd be able to do anything. If that makes any sense. I mean, who's to say you can't though? You can't like sprout wings or breathe. Okay, okay, yeah. You know, I see what you're saying. Okay. Uh, um, uh, okay. Corn. Yeah. Do you think? Do you think reality think is simulated? My, I think I'll change my answer now because I was going to say something. I was going to say I do think not that it's simulated, but that it's predetermined. Certain things are predetermined. But I think I'll change my answer to what Adam was saying about how if it were simulated, we'd be able to do a whole bunch of extraordinary, unhuman like shit. Um, well, not necessarily if, because but, it depends on the but, the, the, the but, terms of the simulation. But, okay. but if if it is simulated, if it were to be simulated, um, which means that we would be limited. Uh, because we're playing a certain part. Humans would be limited because we're playing a certain part in the universe. That's a good, yeah, I like that. Um, if if it is simulated, we're playing a certain part. And, which means, we, technically, yeah, to a certain extent, we can do whatever the fuck we want. But at the same time, it's like, yo, there's, um, whether it's, you know, God simulating it, or whether it's, you know, another higher being sim- simulating life itself, um, which includes not just humans, but all life, and yeah. every every part of that species or every species plays their own part in this entire simulation, which also yeah. includes I'm talking about the universe, right? Not just the world, but the universe, right? So which yeah, let, I mean, let, let's let's go so to the universe. Life, okay. life, life from other planets, life on other planets are playing their part, and whoever it is simulating all life in the universe and in the galaxy. So, we're, we're, I lost my train of thought there. So, could you could you argue that because nature? I'm just going to speak on Earth right now. Could you argue that because nature is such a well oiled machine, and because every part, every aspect of nature plays its part so perfectly, could you could you see that as making you know at least having somebody with an open mind, you know, giving them the thought that okay, maybe this shit is kind of simulated. Like maybe this shit isn't even real. Because everything does what it's supposed to do, and yeah. and it does it so well. Like plays a part. Like, like trees like grow, stuff, they yeah. provide oxygen. We breathe oxygen. We poop. It makes more trees, which provides more oxygen. Like 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 you know like it's, it's yeah. rudimentary, but we, you know what I'm saying. Like yeah. I feel like some of these older philosophers and some of these guys, like before internet, before you know, before feminism and all that other shit. <laughs> I feel like. I feel like some of these uh, these early philosophers, they didn't have much to base, you know, reality off of except for what they saw, not necessarily what other people were saying and what other people were recording. Because then again, you really, really only hold on. No, I was going to hold on. You really only back in. I mean, back in these times, we're talking. You know, we're talking some some cases BC. If you want to get into older older philosophy, yeah. Uh, 
and even in the AD philosophies, we're talking Rene Descartes. He was in what the 13, 1400s, dude. Like, like you really didn't communicate too too much with people outside of your immediate, you know, hundred to a thousand mile radius. Yeah, like, back then travel was like, like <laughs> force just back. Like, you, you couldn't get three thousand miles across the country in, in six seven hours like you can now on a plane. Yeah, that shit took months, years. You know, like people didn't even might have even have done it. Yeah, centuries. yeah centuries exactly. Um, and, and now we have instant access to people way out of reach that you would never think of. So it's definitely, you know, which leads, which leads to another thing about like maybe it could not be a simulation. Maybe we're set up. We, the world was set up, and like I've always said, and I know I say this every podcast. I'm like, I always say this, I always say that, blah blah blah. But anyways, um, but like I, like I always say, we were put on this earth for for an entirely different reason than what we're using our um, podium for now. I 100% agree. Have you ever seen, you guys can see the movie called, it's a Dr. Seuss movie called The Lorax. Um, it, uh, real shit. Yeah, uh, I, I know. Oh, I know Dr. Seuss did some shit in his, in, in his uh, movies movie. and books, man. Watch the movie Lorax. I watched it last week. And this is what, I'm going to give you a quick synopsis of, of what the movie was. All right. They live in this town called the Needville or Thiefville. In Thiefville, you cannot exit Thiefville. Listen closely. You cannot, yes, I repeat, you cannot exit Thiefville. If you do, you're, <laughs> you're, pri- you're in prison, whatever. Yes, it's still a Dr. Seuss movie. You go outside. So this little kid, he leaves Thiefville because he meets a girl that she wants a real tree. There is no real trees in the city of, in the town of Thiefville. There's, there's artificial air that this guy um, profit that this one man profits off of the artificial air that he created uh, in the town of Feedville. This kid who likes this girl wants to press this girl. She says she wants a real tree. So he leaves Feedville, sneaks out of Feedville to go find a real tree. As soon as he steps out of Feedville, and Feedville is a very nice city, blah, 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 like looks fancy and all. As soon as he exits Feedville, it's very dark. It's very, if you ever seen a movie Lion King and you remember when Scar oh, yeah. took, over, uh, took over Pride Rock? That's what mm-hmm. it was. Like, rainy, dark, no trees, nothing there, just nothing but a really a big ass graveyard, acres and acres of just graveyards. Yeah. So he meets he meets this guy um, who um, would cut down trees um, to produce the stuff that the leaves would make, like scars, hats, um, just all kinds of blankets, all kinds of shit, until there was the last tree left, and then he cut down the last tree and he profited all this stuff. He profited off of, off of all of this until there was nothing left. Then he went away and realized, oh, shit, I fucked up this entirely great thing that was built for all of us right. for my own gain, for my own profit. Except in our case, in reality, it's not one person doing this. It's one group. And kind of more than one group if you really think about it. Oh, lots of groups. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so in the end, this guy has one little seed. And, of course, you know, these moves have to end in a good way. But in reality... We all know that it does not end uh, the way a movie would. Um, it would depend on what movies you like. <laughs> but oh, right. yeah. it, this guy, this guy has a seed of the tree. Walks into Thiefville and tries to plant in that tree, that seed in the middle of the town. But the guy who created the artificial air for the town that claims, "Hey, everyone in this town needs this artificial air in a bottle. It's literally air in a bottle, oxygen in a bottle." Wow. And uh, yeah. And says, hey, everyone in the town needs this. So everyone spends their money saying because they're poisoned in their mind. They need this small bottle of oxygen. Uh, this guy's trying to stop the kid from planting a seed. Now, eventually, the kid plants a seed. And everybody's, oh, a real tree. We've never seen that in ages. Well, whatever. But, I mean, this that movie right there alone proved my opinion, my view on what the world is doing and what the world has done for centuries which stands straight away the reason why we're put on this earth the reason why we are here um to and i don't want to get like too like emotional or anything like that but we're here to like love each other we're here to help each other we're here to build together and show everyone around us that hey this is what life's supposed to be but that's not the case you know they get greedy and, and become yep. tyrants yep. and stuff like yep. yeah they, they become usurpers and tyrants and they'll just yeah, yeah and that's not what humanity was meant to be at all and and yeah. I, and even taking that one step further you could just look at like the original matrix movie 
uh, you know, when, when Neo takes the red pill and he discovers the, you know, the true reality of, of humankind, when they go, when they go, uh, when they, and they see all those people being bred in those pods and then they're pushed out into the matrix and that's life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they, people weren't even fucking born. They were just being bred in those, in those, those pods with all the all the fluid and shit and then they were just being pushed into the matrix and he got the chance to take the pill to get out of the matrix and then what he saw was ugly and dirty and nasty and fighting for mankind you know all right that that um, scenario has been, has been replayed a lot in a lot of media it is. I, i've got one um <laughs> just like every time on every podcast i bring up video games there is a game called enslaved i don't know if you've heard of it it's not very well known at all it was it was for 360 back in like 2011 i think and this game is like centered in a post-apocalyptic world where people are kind of back to primitive natures, but at the same time, technology is, is extremely advanced, which I feel like is a very natural pro- step of progress. Yeah. Whereas like, you as like, you know, there'd be a crash and burn as far as like technology goes, as far as like, as far as mankind goes, things like mother nature would take back over. But at the same time, the, the technology we've already made like AI and robots would probably still continue to exist and overpower, you know, mankind once that, once that gets too strong, if you can like kind of wrap your head around that. <clears throat> so what, what, what eventually happens is like towards the end, like the two protagonists find like this, this isolated group of like hundreds of people who are in a simulation of how mankind used to be prior to this, like fall, this fallout. No, no pun intended. That's another game. But you know, you, see, you know, what I'm saying like, and he, they just they continue to live in this like imaginary world where exactly what we're talking about here, they you know live out normal lives and forget about how ter- terrifying the world has become. And at the end, one of the one of the main characters decides to snap that chain and make them all wake up and then question if he did the right thing, because there was a higher being pretty much manipulating them, and and. I think he was sucking out some of their life energy or something, but they weren't dying. They were just sort of trapped. Like uh, they weren't able to physically move anymore. Just but they fucking brain dead. Yeah, they, they were. They were like, they were like body dead, basically. Like their yeah, brain okay. still, okay. still, still, still worked, but like they were just pretty much husks. So yeah, the moral of the story at the end was: did the did the guy do the right thing by snapping them out of that because they were already kind of like broken? So that that oh, was that's pretty cool. Of, yeah, that's a good that's a good one. I, uh, yeah, I totally I'd forgotten about that game until you started talking about this, and that that was really good the story at least. Cool. So um, yeah. I wanna I wanna just define the word simulation because this might give us some insight, you know, of, of you know, kind of this kind of goes along with what we're saying, honestly. So, uh, a simulation is an approximate imitation of the operation of a process or system. The act of simulating first requires a model is developed. So. Applying that to life being a simulation, if life already existed at one point and you know the you know the operations and the processes and then you try to recreate that in a different point, that would be considered a simulation. But that means like like we were like you all were saying, there there's something that is doing the simulating. Whether it be, you know, as people like to say the powers that be, whether it's God, whether it's not a simulation at all, you know what I'm saying? But just given that definition, that kind of that kind of makes me think like, you know, were there were there even were there two different styles of life? Like, was life did life once exist as something else that history doesn't know about, and then now what we're living is a simulation of this past life, but kind of you know simulated differently? Well, that's digging into another bag of yeah, it is of reincarnation. Which I wouldn't even I, I mean, yeah, you could I, yeah. Would, you guys know you guys know that I'm a huge advocate for uh, well not an advocate but I'm a huge supporter of reincarnation only because you know I feel like if you've been dealt a really shitty card in life you should be able to get another chance um, and well, also, are, yeah. well here yeah. touching on reincarnation do you think that there are uh, ancestral birth mark. what's birth that mark. sorry sorry birthmarks are a sign of reincarnation from what I've been from what I've been Really? Research in the past, what like I think I've I've talked to I, I dated a feminist for a couple months, as you all know, and she's the one that got me on that whole reincarnation thing. Um, she really opened my eyes 
for about a year and a half ago now. So I've been, I've been really, I'm like, damn, birthmarks. And I really like started reading about it. And I'm like, wow. Like, I, I would have, I can see reincarnation being a thing, but I really hope that I don't get reincarnated. <laughs> <laughs> I want to level up from here. Why, I feel like, why, I feel like yeah. you know what I mean? Like earth, like, why? I mean, it's cool and shit, but I feel like there's so much, there's so much more and there's so much better and so much, you know, out bro, there other than being a human on earth bro you ever seen that movie a bug's life you can be yeah. anything bro i mean yeah that's true you can, be, you can be reincarnated as now what i don't agree with with reincarnation is whatever you did in your past life affects your next life I, that's the one thing i don't like that's a rule of reincarnation which is something i don't but there's always something there where you like that you don't there's always like a rule and something that you enjoy or something you like or something that you believe in that you don't agree with sometimes oh, and it's, that's that's one thing where it's like okay i fuck up in my previous life so now you know i'm a pig now in my next life or <laughs> or a fly that dies in like five minutes right yeah. <laughs> and then you get reincarnated again that's insane. As another no, pro- probably not that probably not that time I, I don't i don't i don't think you get reincarnated as something again as the next one so let's say you start as a human this is again this is what i don't want to get too much into this because this isn't the podcast for it but you start out as a human right you are let's say you're a shitty person you die you get reincarnated as like a fucking spider now then you die as a spider then you could be reincarnated again as a human but you can't go from human to human if that makes sense yeah that makes sense to me you've already had your chance and you may or may not have fucked it up so here's your next chance or something else like i get that yeah, I guess that makes sense. I, yeah, I wouldn't see a person, uh, or sorry, like an entity being reincarnated as more than one person either. I think it's too much. Yeah, and um, but then also you have to dig deep into the whole bag of, of respective worms and then and, and judge by religion at that point or what you believe because, yeah, like, you, you don't really know until you die. And, and yep. guess, guess, yeah. who can't, guess who can't tell anybody <laughs> the truth? <laughs> the That's true. That's, That's true. true. That's exactly yeah, but yeah. but you know what I mean? All these all these Netflix movies and shit are showing this. But you know what? Uh, you know we'll call them the powers that be uh, are, are are looking to do, or are they looking to capture consciousness, and they're looking to 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 place consciousness. You're looking to trap consciousness on Earth and place it in robotics and other lab grown bodies. That's like uh, that's like Scientology. And, and, what's that? Yeah, I was gonna say that's like Scientology. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah, that's yeah. crazy. They're, they're trying to make Scientology real. Wow, yeah. it well, is like, real. That's the thing about it. Like the, the, the joke <laughs> is that people think it's a joke. This nigga said. This nigga said they're trying to make it real. Yeah, the the joke is that people think it's a joke. You see what I'm saying? Like these 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 fucking these people literally are are trying to to basically become immortal. Yeah, you know. By any, by any by any means necessary. Say that again for him. Scientology is a very real thing. I think it's yeah. damn. I don't know if I can totally agree with the, the entire thing of Scientology being real. Because you know, then you have to get into that Xenu shit. So I mean, there, there, maybe there's a real thing of that applies to every religion. Maybe there's a real part of everything. Because I mean, I'm I still consider myself Scientology. Well, maybe, but you can't just declare the entire thing is true. It's like then you have to question your own faith. I mean, I still consider myself a Christian, but I do, I do. Well, what's question. wrong with questioning your own faith? Well, nothing. No, no. I mean, like you can't just fully accept this religion is real, because then you pretty much have to say I am one. You know, because like, no, not, not really. Murder is real, really. Exactly. Well, well, I mean, I think that's a you can slope. you can accept something as being present on Earth or being present in reality, but you don't have to subscribe to it. Yeah, also, I mean, I mean, just because you don't like it, I mean, brain, Scientology is brainwashing. Brainwashing is real. All religions, not all, I don't say all religions, but a lot of religions are brainwashing. There is a bad part of a religion. Yeah, it's real. I have been a part of the bad part of my own religion before. And, you know, once you're exposed to that, all you can do is either become become one of them or get out of that shit. That's what I, I did the latter. So, you know, <laughs> you, you have to Accept your free will, which is very hard to do if you're raised like that. You guys know that. You have to, I mean, taking back your own your own freedom is tough as shit because you really aren't doing it 
and until you're working for yourself and there you go once you have total freedom of your finances and your faith then you probably can really call yourself free but until then none of us i mean no i i disagree Uh, I mean, I don't think we can ever call ourselves free on this earth as long as there's a ruling class above 99.99% of all people. Uh, And I ain't talking God. That's a whole different story. That's we we can we can get into God or whatever people want to call God later. But you can you can have all the money in the world. You can have all the opportunities in the world. But as long as there's still a, a ruling entity over all people with right. fake fake rules that we call man's law fraud fraud then yeah. then you're not truly free i don't know if humans have ever been truly free maybe i'll do y'all one better what if what if being a human <clears throat> is a punishment like what like what if humans aren't meant to be free because just by nature of being a human like, what if this is a punishment for some shit in the past life that, you know, or some shit in past centuries that, 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 that we did as other beings and we're reincarnated as humans as punishment? What if that, what if that's the case? I like that idea. You know what I'm saying? I like that idea for like a fictional story, but it is, t- it is tough to wrap around when you, when you actually accept that. Um, cause yeah, if you don't, if you're not in charge of anything your entire life, you know, that's what, what are we even doing? You know, like why, why do we continue to suffer through meaning, meaningless lives, you know, like working jobs we hate or going to school and having to pay it back or well, what's the point you know like you well to... i mean i mean i'm saying i think if i think you know what if we thought of humankind as an opportunity you know you're born with this set of all right so say say you're say you're born in the ghetto and say you're born in the suburbs you know you have an you you have the same opportunity as a fresh human being on this earth to uh to to get whatever you can now, based on external factors, you either can or can't get some of these opportunities. Okay. So, so what if, like, I mean, this I'm I'm spitballing. This this is some this is some off the wall shit for real. But <laughs> what what if, what if like I mean this this crazy. But what if certain people were 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 predestined to be born in a certain environment, and other people were born in other environments based off of what their ancestors did, or based off of what they done what they did in a past you know, like in a past incarnation or something like that. Or like, well, you know what I mean? so, like so say, so say, what if you were, what if you were, you know, what, what if you were, you know, the equivalent of Gandhi back in, you know, some time before time was recorded and then all of a sudden, and then, and then you did some bad shit. And then now you're born in, you know, 1983 in you know, yeah. South Central Los Angeles or some shit. And you got to deal with that. You know what I mean? Well, here's one. So would you consider maybe the possibility of if you're part of a family line, the youngest member being punished for what their ancestors might have done? You know, talking about being but born. Again, but then again, if you're talking about a higher being or even just a, a, a simulation type uh, structure for that, you would think they wouldn't punish someone down the line. They would punish that one person. Yeah, but we see because, continu- because we, continuous we, examples. We, well, hold on. We see we see continuous examples of people being like, "Fuck, I lost my train of thought." We because see, we as humans do that. That's a humanly. I don't know. I don't know what I was gonna say. I was gonna say we see a continu- continuous line of people who are rich and powerful continue to be assholes and then die die with great die with great lives and never be punished. So what if whatever force you're talking about didn't get? I mean, chance who, who's to say punished? they're not punished? In a later, in a later time, or in, the we're in, we're in another life, you see yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, afterlife, another life. But what if you never, like, it's very apparent that they they never even suffered at all, like they never paid for what they did. Well, who's to say? How do you know they haven't paid or that they won't pay? Well, how, do, how does anyone know? That's what I'm saying. Like, I agree. If, if nothing really, if nothing was apparent, then maybe their their rel- their their descendant will be punished for what they did unfairly. I mean, I'm not saying that that's the way it should be, but life is very unfair. We know that. Yeah. But, I mean, is anything fair? <laughs> <laughs> no, that, uh, that's what we're talking about, right? How it's not fair. Yeah. But uh, I'm saying you're coming at it like like uh, it's it's like a personal, like, like you've been personally attacked. What all I'm saying is you never know 
you know, people people can go around this earth being assholes for they they could live to be ninety five years old. Look look at look at fucking George W. Bush and George, I mean George H. W. Bush. This fucker's single handedly, well not single handedly, but let the, the 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 figurehead for overturning countries nations for nothing more than a dollar bill. Right. And this and you can, and you could say this motherfucker left lived, lived scot free. No repercussions for anything he ever did. Who's to say right now, since he died, who's to say right now he's not in, you know, in quote unquote hell or reincarnated as a poor, starving African child or something? Like that? You know, who's to say that that didn't happen, or who's to say that's not going to happen? You know, you know I, mean? I think you know, I think it'd be a very cool like collaboration of the religions we all believe. Is if there was heaven, hell, and reincarnation, heaven is for everyone who actually lived their life to the fullest and was was good. Hell was for one for those who were just complete shitbags, and like they were reincarnated if they missed out or they were de- they were dealt an unfair hand, something like that. Okay, I can see that. Like, like what if yeah. what if you had a purpose and you missed it? Absolutely, you know what, what I'm saying? saying. And then yeah. and then your your destiny has not been fulfilled, and you got to keep trying and trying until you until you figure out that purpose that your spirit is I, supposed to have. Mm-hmm. You know, so what, what I'm saying, I, what I, I would like that. I would, I would yeah. like that if, if that was the ideal um, situation we all were given. I would like that. Or, why the, are you saying no, Corn? Yeah, well, no. because look at what the world, look at what world we're in right now. If reincarnation, if if that exact definition were real, just hear me out. If that exact definition were real, we'd have a lot more people speaking out and doing what. I mean, I hope this ain't too soon. I Talk see about, what you're saying. I see what you're saying. But, I know but, you're getting that. But but we have we'd have a lot more Nipsey hustles. We'd have a lot more Gandhi's. We'd have uh we'd have a lot more people speaking out about shit going on. Whether it's today's time or past tense, a lot more people going okay. against going against the norm per se. All right, it's not even quote unquote norm. It is the norm. Well, what, if, or what if speaking what out? If, yeah, you're right. You're right. Following orders is the norm. But but what if what if you know being basically for the betterment of society is not somebody's purpose? Yeah. I can see that. I feel like that should be all, everybody's purpose as a human being under this the state of coercion that we live under. But what if that? I mean, what if that's not it? But then, then what? Whose purpose would it be to be silent? No orders. Uh, we we've seen a lot, but who's to say that's their purpose? They just accept they just accept a bad hand not, or a good. Yeah, but getting that is true. That's not their purpose. But that's if being life and being safe. Playing it safe, being yeah. quiet, yeah. Which, which we all do. I'm guilty of that. Obviously, I'm too. But we we also have all done a thing where where we went against that. You and I decided to move out of our home state. Jaron, you got a house. We've all done what? things we we didn't think would would actually change our lives, even if it is for the worse, which it is for me. But right that has now. nothing to do with. But, I mean, y'all y'all moving and me getting a house has nothing to do. I'm with just saying. Side. I'm just saying I'm, it's something we did outside of what might have been scripted. You know, we did, decided to do something that might what not if it have is been. Scripted? Okay, it might be, but I did. Uh, yeah, I decided to do something that nobody in my family ever did: is move out of the state. That's fair. So That's I'm fair. just, I'm just saying, your choices, like we're in control of everything we do, even if there's something else like that has given us a destiny. Like we, we chose these things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you have to have a, a a job to make it happen, but there you go. Like you have situations that come your way that allow you to make make take risks and you know make change and. That's where I think free will comes into play. There, even if I, I feel, yeah, yeah even yeah. Even, if, even if somebody is, is living like their the same life their parents told them to live, which we know plenty of people who do, and then there are those of us who who decide to go against the grain, you know. So go, I think, going back, I want to go back to what Corn said about uh, people being silent was not a purpose. Okay. Hypothetically, if we live in a simulation, which if we go back to his definition is an approximate imitation of the operation of a processor system. So if we live in a simulation and inside of these little intricacies of this system, there are supposed to be people who don't speak out and supposed to be people who don't better society right. to then get the people who are supposed to be on their purpose and are supposed to be better in society to not, because that's the status quo. Then what? Like, like what, like would it like, I mean, that's kind of out there, but, I mean, like I said, I don't necessarily think we live in a simulation per se, but if we did, I could totally see that being a thing where, all right, 
say the world simulated. We got certain people over here that we don't want speaking out. We got certain people over here that we want to speak out just to give people the hope that, you know, hum that, that humanity can be saved. And then you got the people over here that just all they want is money and, and, and fame and, and material things. And then you got people over here where all they want to do is live off the land. And then you got the people over here where, you know, all they want to do is just have kids and, and just create a family and, and, and move their genes along. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like I feel like you could plan that shit out so well. Yeah. But there then again, can. but then again, I, I, for what? You know what I'm saying? Like you could do all that shit, but then for what? Like what's the end goal? If, if that's the case, then, then what's that's the goal? A simulation. We're talking about a simulation, right? Do you really think a simulation is going to spit people back out because they didn't fulfill the purpose of either being silent or being uh, greedy financially? Or uh, emotionally or e egotistically, I mean, if, if we're talking about if we're talking about uh, a system, right, which is basically what a simulation would be, right? Society is basically a system, if you ask me. Mm -hmm. I, I can you know? I can understand that and, and accept it. Yeah, like this. You said society is a system or a simulation. I said system. society is basically a system. Oh, a system. Yes, yes. I thought you meant I thought you said simulation. I was like, wait. You know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? I just thought of this. Okay, we're we're so we're so used to we'll just hold up we're so used to the way like first world countries behave. Did you ever think about maybe how someone in a foreign land who is like still bare bones living like it's centuries ago might react to this kind of conversation if they're even in that mindset whatsoever? You know, Honestly, if, if they were living centuries ago, they're probably already in connection with the gods and with like you know they're probably they're probably they were. I feel like people were more advanced. When it comes to how humans can interact with spiritual things higher and lower than we are right. now, I feel like we've definitely devolved when it comes well, to what's... our our connection to the divine, our connection to nature, yeah. our connection with each other. All oh, that, dude. all that's gone because, to shit. Because of the, what the, it was the, the immense, years. the immense dedication to becoming slaves of technology, which we all have done to an extent. Like, if that stuff was gone again, we'd probably become so much more like culturally advanced like uh, we bring get our senses back whenever i mention this a lot we repeat ourselves a lot of this podcast everyone knows whenever i put the phone down i feel so much better whenever i stop looking at the screen i feel so much better using your own thoughts again if we just did that again like who's to say how much farther we all be and it'd, pr it'd probably be a, a whole lot happier too because even people who look happy even the ones I see who are doing the same thing that you got, we're all just talking about, are following the system, and some aren't aware they're doing it. I see people flashing their phones around nonstop, like, whoa, look at this status I've got. If we just fucking all quit that, and there was something maybe maybe that's not necessarily telling us to do it, but we all just knew to cut that shit out, who's to say how much farther people would be, how much farther society would be, you know? Oh yeah, it would probably be a lot farther, but man, but then you got the people who's like, well, there's good in social media too, because I can promote my business and I can, yeah. you know. Yeah, and that was gonna <laughs> hard. I'm going to play devil's advocate. I'm going to play devil's advocate for a minute. What that's about the person that's, that's very less interesting than us that grew up in the age of, and uh, yeah, we talk about this all the time. But what about the person that grew up in the age of social media, like how the generation is now, where we didn't grow up with, we were we were there for the start of it, but we yeah. weren't necessarily there for the after the aftermath or like the current the current wave of social media. We were yeah, we were niggas like, was not eight, nine, ten years old with smartphones. Put it that way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I can't we stand there, seeing we that. Yeah. Okay, we were there for the the oh, okay, this is cool. Like this is new, this is cool, whatever. But now the next generation is like, oh, I've had this since I was three. Like I don't. I don't know what. I don't know what a GameCube is. I don't know what going outside. I don't know how to tie a tire to a tree and swing it. I don't know yep. what that is. Yep. All I know is this. So, so when you go back to talk about what what Adam was talking about, where it's people don't know how to. When you put your phone down and it makes you feel better, the next generation feels. They're not going to know what that better is. They, 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 they feel the complete. They feel the complete opposite. They feel. They feel much better when they pick the phone up and instead of trying to figure out okay what does a you know instead of conversating with a homeless man or you know what I, that's a little too extreme so i'll just i'll just say instead of them trying to communicate with you know or trying to 
help a cat. They'd rather film a cat chasing its tail or film a cat uh, being, you know, fighting with a dog or something and get all these yeah. views rather than sitting down, rather than sitting the phone down and just helping, it. Yeah. helping the cat or helping the dog or whatever, you know. Mm-hmm. But you don't get it. You don't get any social. You don't get any social points for that. You don't get any oxytocin release either. You don't get. Yeah, any, I mean, you could. You could, but but not from not from <laughs> not, the act of helping the cat. Not, and not it, that, people not get the it now way. from the act of sitting but there and pressing again, buttons on their fucking phone. Mm-hmm. And then again to play devil's and then again to play devil's advocate. Who's to say that you know it's it's basically damn if you do, damn if you don't. Like they they want to film everything. So when you do film. A person from the next generation trying to help a help a homeless man or trying to talk to a homeless man or helping a cat, then it's sympathy points. Which me personally, I, I say it all the time. I'm like, people do that on camera for sympathy, but it, it, it's just like not everything has to be on a camera, and 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 not everything has to be televised or publicized. The things and again simulation, the things that are publicized, the things that are out there in the open everyone cares about but the things that people should care about the things that they don't want you to know are always hidden and if it is out there it's taken away just like that it's taken off of youtube it's oh you're suspended for speaking out against someone Dude, yeah oh, so oh, much so, so oh, all kind oh, of oh we're chastising you because you're speaking out speaking out like i just i was just the reason why i was late earlier is because i was having a three-hour conversation with a couple of friends from school sitting down shooting shit and then we started getting some like, real deep shit like how I personally thought that, you know, if we don't have – I can't say this in person to, to anybody that comes from my background, and you'll get where I'm going when I get to it, but is that why are we still identifying as African Americans when five generations ago our grandfathers, grandfathers, grandfathers were in America? You know, it's, it's – America in its own has become its own That's true. heritage. You know, and we still identify as Africans hate black people in America. A, a lot of them do, but yeah. they don't. Ident- they don't identify as being our relatives, or you know, whatever, or even related to us. So at this point, why not have American? Ha- Each state has their own heritage. Virginia has their own heritage away from Florida. It's completely different. Yeah. You know, it's it's all yep. that all leads back to simulation to. If we are really a simulation, do you really think this stuff would would happen? Do you really think we would be so different, but at the same time, all be the same? Yeah, that's deep. Very true. Yeah. Bring it back to what you are saying earlier about the uh, those who use sympathy for publicity. That's where you get real evil people. That's where you get actual real-life villains, the ones who step out and, and take that sympathy to, to gain popularity with. Who like pretend to be like decent when they know they're on camera? That's like where the scum of the earth really comes from. I feel like people who do that are worse than the ones who just watch and, and videotape. Well, I think people do that. Just not not defending this, but I I think people do that because of how much people in general are just watching everything that everybody does now. Oh, like yeah, people sure. people are afraid to be their actual selves because your actual self is so on blast more than it ever was. And, and all these bullshit feelings that are disguised as opinions, which are then disguised as truth. And then you get laws passed about these fucking feelings. Right. Like people, people just get freaked out and they're like, well, I'm just not going to say what I want to say because I don't care for the backlash or the, or the potential backlash. Yeah. Like and and that's and honestly that's part of the Jeez, problem. Court. <laughs> and honestly that's part of the fucking problem if you ask me, because uh-huh. I know I know Corn I know you chomping at the bit but hold on. Yeah. Uh, I think I think humanity really started to de- to decline when people stopped speaking out on what's right instead of just just being you know as we say in every fucking podcast politically correct. You know. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I'll go ahead, Corn. Go ahead, man. I know I know you, I know you got something you want to say. <laughs> you hit the nail. Right on the fucking coffin. Bro. Literally the coffin. <laughs> today, right. today, today, April, what the fuck, whatever the fuck today is. Fifteenth, dude. So the debate team, because I knew I knew a girl that's on the debate team on a fair school. So after I finished my exam today, well, one of my exams, um, 
I walked outside with a couple of my other friends and I was like, yo, let's check out this debate, this, uh, this debate. I was really intrigued. I love debates. I don't really necessarily like, it all depends on what the subject is, but, yeah, um, it's most of them, most of them are bullshit. But anyways, um, it is the actual debate. They were talking about safe spaces. And I was like, you know what? The reason why people, and it's really a slippery slope to talk about safe spaces or to even, I, I told my friends, I was like, it's going to be really hard for this guy to win this debate against her about safe spaces on a college campus because of the, because of the, um, the atmosphere. We yeah. Say just the environment. Yeah. Because if you really think you're going to square up with a woman verbally, obviously square up with a woman verbally <laughs> on a college campus about safe spaces, when you're, if you think you're going to debate against safe spaces, you're going to, you're going to be cast out. Only was set up. It, 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 it was. <laughs> He had, all the, uh, but I will say this: the guy let me down because his his point was very invalid because he was talking about once he started saying that neo Nazis should have their own safe space. I was like, okay, I'm done. This, <laughs> ah, this guy, damn! I was, right. This guy was this guy was on a microphone saying that, and I was like, oh my oh, god! All right. Oh, oh man! But, let me, but, let me play. But, okay, but, but, but but to go back to to go back to my point that I was trying to make is that it need like people can't speak out anymore because people are afraid of backlash and i'm not you all know me i'm not afraid of backlash but i i do have i believe i have a future where i need to be on the good side of not necessarily on the good side of other people but i do need to be on not be on the bad side of people so you need you need to be publicly yeah. favorable. Put it that way. Yeah, I need to be publicly favorable, which is something you dislike, which is what we all dislike. <laughs> yeah, personally, you can't really state your opinion in the avenue that I'm trying to yeah, get my life going. But <laughs> um, and and hopefully one day it'll change. I will it? I don't think so, but maybe possibility. Maybe. Yeah, bro, that's crazy. Exactly what you want, you have to fake for. That, that is a uh, yeah, it's wild. That's a tough pill to swallow. That's literally swallowing the red pill right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it's 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 a uh, it's swallowing and holding it under your tongue. Yeah, and then that, and, and, and until the bitch just ends up dissolving, then it yeah, that's what I was about to say. Until it dissolves, and then, and then uh, and the next thing you know, you get me too or something. <laughs> Dude. Uh, well, if if you get me too, you ain't even got that pill. You never even had that pill anymore. That's true. If you get was, me too, you ain't never had the pill. That's, that, that, that's for sure. Yeah, that's for sure. And, then, and, and, and you're a what, man on top. No, of- <laughs> okay. I was gonna say, what spawned this whole red pill, blue pill shit? Like, like I know the Matrix had red pill and blue pill, but that was in the sense of, do you want the truth or do you want to be asleep? Do you, you want to be awake or you want to be asleep? Now, motherfuckers got this red pill, blue pill shit about being the alpha or being a man and then being a a, a, a fee a fee man. You know well, what I'm hold, saying? Hold up, hold up. I've heard red pill. Was it? There's a real life blue pill. No, people, it, call, uh, people call blue pills like "quote unquote" beta males. Oh, really? They call the, red pills so much "quote unquote" alpha. No, males. I, I've heard a lot of red pill stuff. Like, like, like uh, that book I have, "The Rational Male," talks a lot about red pill mindset. I didn't know blue pill was an actual also used <laughs> in this yeah. context. Okay, yeah. that's crazy. Um, I feel like the, the whole if we're talking about just the red pill one for a minute, that's like the whole. <laughs> I hate to use this term woke mindset, but actually, actually woke in the term in, in the sense where you're, you're awake to things that are actually happening. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like awake. Um, yeah. And a lot of that stuff is very good. Like he talks about hypergamy. You guys heard of that? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'll explain it for corn. Um, hypergamy is essentially a woman's factor in, in choosing her mate, which is determined on fact on like things a man would never think like, and so you take away money, you take away status, you take away this, that, you take away. I mean, hypergamy is simply just dating up. Like, mm-hmm. if if you you go for people who have more than you have in order to get what they have, that's hypergamy. Yeah, it's like so it's like you again. Basically, you date you date up. So, you know, we, this is completely, more than, this more than what completely and totally off topic. Just for the listeners, this is off topic as fuck. Well, we kind of do that any, every episode. Yeah, well. yeah, but so, but you date them. You're you're a woman. You might you might even be a six or a seven. You might be an eight. You know what I'm saying? You could be a dime. You know how many dimes any of y'all know? I only know like maybe one. You could two. be a dollar. You could you yeah. could be a fucking you know what I'm saying? You could be a dollar. 
But basically, <laughs> the goal, of the, the idea of hypergamy is, <coughs> excuse me, being a woman, you have the ability to date outside of your means, meaning whether that whether that is intellectually, whether that is you know, fis- fiscally with money mm-hmm. or in goods and, and, you know, housing, cars, all, all that bullshit, or, or whether that's like just, you know, you could, you could date, you could be a hypergamous dater in, in religion. Like you could be wanting to only date like pastors instead of just dating people <laughs> who go to church. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and the thing about this is when a woman is like, as we talked about before, looks matter in this, in this sense, but a woman is like that high <clears throat> on the, um, the totem pole of desired, on this woman is clearly intelligent. She's beautiful, et cetera, et cetera. She can she can date anybody she wants. Hypergamy really takes over, or the sense of this man has to have this, 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 and this, or I'm gonna get the guy who has it. You know, like it just it, it takes control of everything, and, and men don't know what to, what to make of it. You know, it, it's such a but we yeah. should, and that's the problem because hypergamy is really honestly a natural part of being a woman because. What, what is what is the one thing that women were put on this earth to do, if nothing else? Reproduce. reproduce. To help reproduce. So they want the, the ta- best taking mate. taking materials and, and things aside, you, you're gonna you're gonna wanna find the best qualified mate so you can reproduce and have the strongest genes to carry uh, on your wanna, lineage. You know what I'm saying? I, but that but that, that goes hold on Adam. That that applies but nowadays that applies to, you know, having enough money. Dating, you know, dating some ugly fucking jerk off guy, <laughs> but he's got money, yeah. and and hey, he'll he'll be able to provide for these two kids I want when I'm, you know, when I'm before I hit the wall if I'm a chick. You know what right. I'm saying? And I want to take away what I said about status. Status absolutely matters. I have noticed more and more, and this applies to hypergamy. Women will date a guy who has a lot of friends and a lot of some, uh, people in a support group, much more often than a guy who is. Uh, arguably has a couple friends or a, a smaller social status. That is always the case because they know attention is going to come their way if they are surrounded. It's not always the case. It, it, it is the case often, but often. it's not always the case. Okay. Uh, and I'm not talking about minorities. We hardly ever are. You know, we're, talk, we're talking about the, the, the big picture stuff that we see more often than not. And yeah, you just have to accept it and, and, and understand what's going on to, to ever be able to be at peace with yourself. And I'm still not, even even with knowing this stuff, and, and, you know, like. But, but the thing is, as a man, you have to you have to be able to say that's what I don't want, and you have to be able to pick that out before you right. even go any sort of direction with the chick. Yeah, but nobody yeah, thinks that. Long-term. Nobody nobody thinks about long term. Everybody yeah, yes people. yes here here let's, let's bring this up. Women think about long term when they find a guy that they think is worth long term. Okay. But no, here's the thing. When I'm talking about like in terms of lineage, they're not thinking right. about long term. They think about what about now? What about me? What about now? Which also is a good thing and a bad thing, because yeah. you don't really. It, it's not like you're not saying you don't care about, you know, your uh, what is it, the people under your descendants, right? Not instead of what's the opposite of ancestors, the people under you, like they're grandchildren, descendants. Yeah, 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 yeah. descendants. descendants yeah. So they're they're not thinking about descendants. A lot of these women, and it's not just women; the men are too. Uh, they're not thinking about the center. They're thinking about right now. Okay, he might be, you know, um, attractive, or, but if he's an asshole and he raises your kids to be future assholes and douchebags and cunts, what do you think your grandkids are going to be? You know, when, when when you raise your kids like that, your kids raise their kids like that, and their kids raise their kids like that. Generation children. We've seen it happen. We're seeing it happen right now where there are kids that have been, that have great, great, great grandfathers who are known assholes all around the world. And now these kids are still benefiting off of that. It's not really making the world a better place. It's not really making, uh, not really proving the uh, the simulation right. You know, I think I think you know when when people people are thinking about now, they're not thinking about what's happening, what's going to happen in the future. You know, just like when we, you know, and again, I I'm, I'm not going to preach about something that I don't do. I do uh, take advantage. I mean, uh, take recycling for granted. Um, you know, I've, I've been known to throw trash out of my window when I'm driving on the highway. Adam's seen it happen a lot of times when I've done that. So, uh, you know, again, we're, we're thinking about now. We're not thinking about the future. Yeah. You know, that's true. We all do. I think and, if, and, I, and, I, and I think if we had a simulation, if we were really under simulation, um, and I don't want to keep being like a dead horse, you know, trying to prove the simulation wrong. But if we had a simulation, don't you think something would have happened by now to where they're like, okay, or to where the simulation's like, okay, uh, 
they're not getting it. Let's Maybe that time has has yet has yet to come. True. You know what I'm saying? But I think because because hold on, Adam, because we're we're more impatient now than we've ever been in our entire lives. Yes. And this is this is as humans as a whole. Uh, because it, with the rise of technology, it becomes it comes instant gratification becomes what what y'all were saying. We want it right now. We wanted it yet. We want it yesterday. We want it a month ago. We don't we don't want it. 5, 10, 15 years down the road when it really matters. Very true. You know what I'm saying? What what if that time is just is just yet to come and we just we just haven't it just hasn't come yet. You know what I'm saying? Which, I mean I'm just which, playing devil's advocate here. Like I'm not I'm not like I said, I don't necessarily think we live in a simulation either. But uh, maybe we can maybe we can just segue this right in, into the uh, the the pre the predeterminism. Well hold up. So Are like you? before we before we wrap up, so like yeah. I, I feel like if it hasn't happened yet when is it going to? Because wouldn't wouldn't it make more sense for like a, a pivotal year to arise for that thing to happen or a pivotal moment? Where like right. we, we we lived through the year two thousand and not shit happened. So it's like you know shit, shit. Well, right. But I'm talking about we actually made it to a millennium in our lifetime. Who can who can say that? Well, what what generation is gonna be able to say that? You know, like it's gonna be a long time if the Earth is even around, but for the year three thousand. You know, like. You feel like this this sort of thing, if there was going to be a big reveal, like if God himself was going to say, hey, quit doing that shit, or whoever is in charge, would have happened at, at a, a time like that, you know? What's the difference between 2,000 and 1,000? Maybe nothing, but we, we weren't alive for that. So, I mean, you just have to... But just because it, we're alive for it, do you think it's just going to happen? Were, were there special ones? I mean, maybe not, but <laughs> we, we're, also, we're also the ones with all this newfound power over like our, our minds and who? thoughts According to who us yes exactly which the other the, the previous generations didn't have the ones from the 1000 era who were probably a whole lot happier they you probably know? thought the same thing probably thought, well behold we are the people we are the special ones you know what i mean and we're now we're saying the same thing now we're saying oh we're the we're the first ones to do we're that's we're true the special we're ones. the special ones yeah we're, we're breaking new ground they said that when Jesus was around, like when they said that yeah. five said that five hundred years ago when Christopher when Christopher whatever the fuck came to Florida and discovered America. Yeah, oh, well, hold on, oh, Christopher Columbus. Yeah, um, yeah. That, I mean, that's that was, true. Like that was the fourteen hundreds. Yeah, we we all I think uh, us as humans was, we all have this desire to to honestly to be more than what we are. I mean, like yeah. like we like we want to matter so fucking much. As individuals and as uh, you know, uh-huh. uh, uh, a whole. Uh-huh. But honestly, what if that time for where the where the humans who really matter? What if that just hasn't come yet? Or what? Or what if we missed the opportunity? And now it it could be too fucking late, and then you know some catastrophic shit could go down, whether it be environmental, financial, <clears throat> social. You know what I'm saying? What any of that? Social's already happening. <laughs> but, yeah, it's already right. happened. I mean, men are turning into women. Women are turning into men. Don't nobody like each other. Can't nobody yeah, have a whole yeah. fucking so, conversation. Social, like, it's, it's only going to get fucking worse. Like, social is already social is already fucked. We're already we in got, the we got in the dark. Repl- yeah, we we're got already in the dark. The dark social ages are upon us. So that part is already fucked. But as far as environments and finance, yeah, it's going to come one way or another. You, Jaren, you told me yourself that you think that you told me um way back not what way back when it's like a couple years now. That the West Coast is eventually going to like cease to exist. Oh, or, probably. Like, like probably. Like a, a tremendous earthquake is going to like apparently wipe out that that side of America. It's I only- mean, for studies. I mean, studies I, say, but 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 literally studies say that the San Andreas Faults, all it would take would be an eight point or higher earthquake, and that bitch is done. I've California, also California's floating. Yeah, like I've legitimately. Also, I've also read that somewhere. Um, but before you told yeah, me, that, Al- yeah, Alaska's, Alaska's, already, Alaska's already seen it. All it takes is one bad one over to Yellowstone. Yellowstone's erupting. You know what I'm saying? Like, like these are these are things that are proven by science. Yeah. As a result, as it as it you know pertains to nature, Alaska's already sinking and melting, literally. Yeah. 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 And who's to say the same thing might happen over on this side of America or anywhere in the world? There could be something to break out and just destroy a a heap of landmass any given time. Apparently Miami is being eaten away. Is eating away. It's like, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, yeah. Apparently Florida could be underwater as well. 
you know? Awesome, awesome, awesome. Happy to hear that. All right, Miami. Oh, <clears throat> Right, but any, any sea level, name Florida. a sea level state, dude. If the water level, if the overall water level rises 100 feet, Louisiana's fucked, Florida's fucked, California's fucked. Like any coastal city that is at or below sea level is fucked. Yeah, very true. Um, wasn't, oh, yeah. I did have a question. Do you guys think, now, just put on your thinking cap for a second. Um, think about if you're, think about arcade. Game rooms, right? A game room full of arcade games. I'm talking about the old school joints that you just plug in a wall and you play. Uh huh. You guys think that maybe Planet Earth is one of those games that was just left plugged up and whoever or whatever that was controlling was like, okay, this is, this is fucked. I'm just going to let it play out and let it just cut off on its own. And do you think that that's where we're at right now? I could I could see that, but then again I couldn't. So so you said basically, wait wait go over that last part one more time. Well, what part did you leave off at, or what part did you get stuck at? Where you said that thing of us as an arcade game that was left, basically the whole damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that maybe Planet Earth is the arcade game that was left? plugged up because they were just like, oh fuck, this thing, this thing's done. Uh, <laughs> instead of instead of unplugging the game, we're just gonna let Earth play out because it's so fun. That it, it's it's basically like uh, and, and I hate to use this analogy, but you all know how I am. I go to the extreme. It's like kind of like having a dying grandmother or grandpa, right? Where they you want to give them the shotgun to kill themselves because they're, they're just, they're shitting in bed they're, they're, They can't function right. And you know that they just, they're past their time. Like, right. they're past their life. That's they're, what you're saying. They, like, had, they had their life, yeah. That, that's been but, lived. But, yeah. but you can't bring yourself to do it, right? Yeah. So you let them, let them sit there for all these years and let them pretty much shit the bed and all this other stuff. And just let, basically you just, like, the simulation, not in the simulation. Fuck the simulation. I know it's about the. I know it's about the episode, but fuck simulation for a second. We're we're going all over the place, man. Just, it's all right. Just a higher being in general, or just whatever. It's controlling. It was controlling the Earth. It was just like you know what? You know, I'm I'm wiping my hands of this and let it play out and see how long the Earth lasts. Now, do you guys think that would that, that would happen? That 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 is that has already happened. Uh, if, if I didn't, if I didn't believe that there was a, a, a higher, a, a higher being, a being of creation, whether you call it God, whether you call it whatever the fuck you want to call it, if I didn't think that that was in play and that we had more or less opportunities on this earth, then I would say yes. But because I feel that way, I would say no. But I can totally see that being a thing, at least with the the powers that be on this earth. They can, you know, call it government, military, you know, business, large business with influence, things like that. Like these fuckers. All I feel like people are so brainwashed nowadays. All you really have to do is just is just spit, you know, just get out some some sort of bullshit. <laughs> whether it, you know, whether it be like, oh, yeah, there's 103 genders now, dude. You know what? I, you know what I fucking saw? <laughs> I, just side note, I, I saw a fucking gender called. Oh, I wish I could pull that shit up. Called like psych. What the fuck was it called? Cyclo. Cyclo gender, meaning depending on when a bitch is having her period, she's a different gender based on period cycle. This is a listed gender uh, in, in, Adam in society. <laughs> I mean, but, but just, hey, just don't, the fact don't that toss, don't like toss that, that can, at me. Hold on. Oh, just the fact God. that shit like that can exist and people adhere to that, we're fucked. We're fucked. There, there really is too much, too much leeway on what is what can be accepted as actually a thing that exists. Because if that is accepted by anyone, Way too much. Way what are we, too much. What are we even doing? You know, like, <laughs> like 
what's 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 the planet and the people doing if we're gonna accept something like that? that that's just we're done. We're done as a people. <laughs> well, I mean, back to what you said about the arcade unit. I again, like like Jaron put it, I think we still have too much free will for that to be entirely true. I mean, that again, that, that sounds like another science fiction movie or a Twilight Zone episode. No, Wreck and Ralph, they had freedom, but they were trapped. <laughs> yes. Again. Yeah, okay. Like, there's there's the actual uh, direct I mean, example. If, <laughs> that, that's that's an analogy if I've ever seen it. You can have all the freedom in the world. You just have to stay in this world. Exactly. Is that really freedom though? And there has been times when I when I just totally think about. I, I told you guys before on the mic before, where you think about all our problems, our little things that are going on in our lives, how meaningless they really are. If you think about the grand scope of what's out there. You know, like you think about if there is just another world just like this, if there is something completely different, the galaxy is like connected one day and we we're able to actually go and go out in space, go to other planets, see other realities, how much different people would think, how much, how, how just uh, intelligence as a whole would, would benefit from that. If we weren't just trapped in, in, our, in our, our little, you know, our little world, you know, like it, it's, it's just, there's so much out there. That's why fiction is so beautiful to me that's why this kind of stuff it literally drives me to make my own fictional universe as what i want my career to be because i feel like that is just such a, such a better thing like, just just an escape that can become something real and you can make like you can think of anything you want so in that sense reality doesn't mean anything anymore that 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 is what really drives me because because this shit here stuff we, stuff that is the same as every generation has sent has been Shit that barely ever changes on a grand scale, aside from us becoming more and more disillusioned with what reality means. You know, this shit ain't it. If that makes any sense at all. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and again, to go back to the to the whole, uh, is that really freedom thing? <clears throat> right. You look at who's to say that we can't have wings. Who's to say that they're probably hiding that from us too? Who's to say that there could possibly be, you know, uh, a human trait that has been discovered? but you can only, you know, you can unlock it by saying something or doing some kind of ritual or something like that, that, uh, yeah. That, I mean, I mean, look at the Stanford prison experiment that in itself. I mean, they had the freedom to volunteer for that bullshit. Yeah. And then, and you had people in power that took advantage of that power. Look at what the world has done when someone over that someone in charge of the world has walked away and said, Hey, you guys are in charge now, or, or they didn't even put them in charge. They just said, Hey, we're done. Let's see. Let's see how this plays out. Let's see what they do. An experiment. Maybe we are all just an experiment. I, I mean, yeah, that, that, that's a, a possibility. I don't really think I would go that far as to say an experiment. I mean, dude, this is no secret. The government's experimenting on humans and people. Look at Project MK Ultra. Yeah. Well, we, yeah, we, exper- we experimented but with on humans with LSD. All kinds of drugs, all Some kinds people, of psych- yeah. all kinds of psych- all kinds of psychological, you know, what do you, whatever you want to call it, psychological manipulations. Right. Saw how people acted, where people were tortured physically, mentally, emotionally. You know what I'm saying? Like, these are things. These are things that we've done, so so that things could be developed to get us to where we are now. Why do you think the powers that be are so fucking good at controlling people? Because they've studied people. They've experimented on people. They have it's killed the people in the name of advancing their agendas. Very true. Yeah. This is not this is not fiction. This is this is public record shit that's out there that anybody would have a fucking brain can Google search and find in two minutes. Yep. Like and I'm surprised that that's exposed. Yeah, yeah. But see, but 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 hey, look, there's nothing new under the sun and anything you want to find, you can find. That's the thing. And that and this this goes into something deeper, but that's where I think that there's no karmic. Uh, that's why I think that there might not be any karmic. Uh, what do you what do you call it? I guess karmic force. <laughs> no, like a like a like a like any bad karma coming on them. That's because this stuff is technically documented and put out for people to see, but it is hidden in plain sight. Meaning, like, yes, you can research all this shit. Yes, you can find all this documentation. All these, all these, you know. Uh, 
you know, Freedom of Information Act released documents on all these studies that the governments have done on people. But it's not just, hey, by the way, here's what we did on, you know, here's what we did with MK Ultra back in the 60s and the 40s through the 60s and the 70s, you know, 30 years we were experimenting on people. Here you go. Here's all of it. It's not like that. You got to look at, you got to look for it, but it's there. And all you need to do is just make the information available and you're free and clear of any sort of, you know, spiritual ramification. You know what I'm saying? Because it's there. You don't have to tell people, but you don't have to hide it either. Yeah. And that's the fucked up part about it. But they brainwashed us so bad. That you you don't think it's a thing. You know what I'm saying? And they, well, I guess in their sense, they brainwashed us so good that uh, it made it hurt so good, I guess. Right. (laughs) Um, That whenever somebody does try and bring up shit like that, whenever somebody does try and bring up the JFK shit, that we are so sensitive. And there's another thing I touched on earlier. We, our society is so sensitive with the wrong shit, but we're so desensitized when it comes to other shit. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, for sure. But yet, but yet for, for, for society is so sensitive, we're so desensitized. And, and whenever somebody tries to bring up something like the MK Ultra, JFK, 9-11, any of that shit, or, 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 or just our society, or tries to bring up shit going on in our society in general, they're either... Um, told, oh, you're a conspiracy theorist, which I, it, you can't even use the word conspiracy anymore because it's overused. Everyone's it's, a conspiracy the, That term is, that um, term is done, and that was, and that was done unfortunately, on purpose. Unfortunately. That, that, that has been, that has been that, redefined that, on purpose. You're called, you're called, uh, oh, you're, oh, you're, you're one of those fucking weirdos. You're a conspiracy theorist. You're, you're this, you're told to shut up. You're shot. You're killed. Uh, you, you, you're, you know, you get shit planted on you, and then you go to prison. Or, you know, you get threatened. You keep doing what you're doing. Your family gets threatened. Blah 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 blah. Whatever. All of this is is, is next to proven, like next to facts, if not facts. That if if you keep doing what you're doing, if you keep trying to expose the government, even when they put it out there, they want to see who's viewing these MK Ultra videos. If you really think they're not tracking to see who's viewing this stuff. Who's sharing it? Who's copying these URLs and sending them to people? Oh, exactly. They're they're looking at it. They're looking at it. They're fucking. They're they're absolutely looking at it. Yeah. And if it ain't them, it's the company who whose medium you're using. They're giving them the information. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why you have things like you know encrypted chat apps and things like that where where they don't like. Dude, I had an I had an email account uh, when I was doing cryptocurrency a lot more. Uh, they as soon as your account was deleted, it's wiped off their servers. They had tape drives. They destroyed the tape drives. Like you, you, you pay a little bit of money for absolute privacy you know, as far as you can get it. You know what I'm saying? Like your data is not stored on their servers. It's deleted when you're gone. When you're gone, it's gone. Like there's no there's no backups. Like if yeah. if you lose it, well, it sucks. That's what you paid for. You paid to not have redundancy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You paid for the shit not to be available. Yeah, you know what I'm saying like shit like that wouldn't have to exist if the shit that Corn just said wasn't happening. Yeah, yeah you know what I'm true. saying. Shit. But I mean, again, again, you know that's. We, and the funny thing is, we didn't sign up for this shit. I don't think anyone knowing signed up for this shit. But then you got people that are like, oh, you know, you know, we because they said it's real, it's real. <clears throat> they said it's fake, it's fake. And right. it's like, mm. well, well, there's always going to be people who, who are, are that small minded and believe anything, man. You know what? Here's something that I am very surprised is still happening. This is unrelated, but it still fits. Not too long ago, we talked about <laughs> Marvel movies, right? People were still getting up during the credits, right? So there is also still people who are being surprised by these previews of stuff coming out that is just movies being repeated over and over and over again. And we, we see, and like, but we see the same things being repeated and people are still being surprised by that. And that's what I was, that's what I was trying to get at. That there are still folks being surprised by that looks brand new. I just hear this, this, oh, the same thing going over and over. It's like some people just cannot see what what is new and what is fake anymore and what is was is old what has been repeated to them over and over like you Corey, you told me that before too when you see something being repeated and, and others don't see it you know that that's what i'm getting at yeah yep. yeah it's like it happens in wrestling all the time 
And and I, I'm gonna call you out on something real quick though, because you talk about right. that, and you say that uh, that that uh, that people are small minded and stuff like that. But this was still, and and maybe you've matured, maybe you haven't since then. But this is two and a half years ago when you were bitching and complaining when Donald Trump won the election. I was also <laughs> following what a lot of people were saying to me. As yeah, if, I was. Okay, okay, sure. Yeah, I was bitching back then. But that was before I, I kind of understood exactly what life was about as far as my own, what, what was even worth worth complaining about. Because, yeah, the president isn't this big hotshot that, that you're all taught to believe. And, yeah, assuming someone's personality is really going to dictate what they do and don't do, what the government actually controls them doing, yeah, sure. I mean, I can admit mistakes for you. You've made mistakes too. Jared has too. We've all matured in some way. We've also we've also all fucked up a lot in some way too, so like, yeah, I mean, sure, I might have said something stupid about Donald Trump. I don't really care what I said at this point because that was three or four years ago, and people change all the time. So, <laughs> what? No, 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 no. It's it, it's not about that. It's just the fact that you know, I, I'm not saying you have a small mind or anything because again, you've matured since then. I, at least I hope in terms of that. Um, well, we but, all talk. We talked about this stuff already in the podcast, as it is. So, yeah. One, and I, I kept telling you when he was going through the old Kennedy thing, and he was running for election. That don't be surprised when he wins. And sure enough, you know. But I, I don't think my, I don't think my reaction was near the height of some of these other people. Oh, it was. Oh, no, bad. dude, people were it like pretty bad. bad. Your reaction was. Oh yeah, yeah. That's Nick. That's Nick. I mean, I mean it was bad, bad, but. <laughs> but I, guess, I was just. Yeah. All right, fair enough. Sure. But hey, folks, yeah. listening, um, we're going to have to take a brief intermission. Uh, we will be right back, uh, so stay tuned. This is a great, great chat, and we're not we're not ending this anytime soon. We just need to take a brief intermission. Uh, we will be back shortly. All right, folks, and we're back. Uh, sorry about that. Um, we actually are going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Uh, I think I think we we, 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 <laughs> we we touched on everything we need to touch on and. Uh, we really just wanted to bring this topic to people's attention and all the other topics we talked about. We hadn't really had a, I mean, all of our podcasts are deep. Let's be honest here, but this, this is really, this is purely. There wasn't a single laugh. I don't think in this whole podcast. So yeah, we were definitely going in. This This, stuff, this was definitely a, a much needed chat. And this was definitely something that I think that, you know, the vast majority of people need to hear. And we can do easily keep going with this at a part two at some point. Um, so if you, so we, we could, probably will. We, we, we will label, we label this. Good. Let's label this part one and just yeah, yeah. do yeah. do more later. We'll do more there, later. Okay. There will be a part two to this topic because I don't think we just we just really just scratched the surface and we have to do more. We might even actually bring Connor back in on this one because I think he'd be a good, he'd have a good perspective on uh, Connor or Clint, one of them. Yeah, uh, sure. They'd have they'd have a good perspective on 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 this topic and you know Clint Clint being more of a religious centered person i guess you could say i think he'd bring an interesting perspective and connor being more spiritual in a sense would also bring a good perspective yeah uh, we'll see what we so we're gonna we're gonna work it out we're gonna get a part two going y'all just y'all digest the fuck out of this research everything we talked about fact check us comment on the damn videos you know what i'm saying we want we want that feedback don't just text us talking about yo the video was great comment on it please just hit that like and subscribe we, we love y'all. We love y'all. We want some. We want some actual feedback on the page, man. Like you know, what I'm saying. Yeah, we, we, we did. We did get. We did get last episode, which I appreciate that. You we, know, did, like, did. we did. Was that Adam's comment? <laughs> no, it wasn't my comment. We actually. Had, I mean, yeah, I, the, the I one fan we have. Yeah, our single fan. But no, I did do that on a few videos, but no, this time it wasn't. So yeah. Oh yeah, that nigga Clint needed to call me too, yo. Hey, Clint, if you listen to this, call me. <laughs> Uh, anyway. um, but all right, uh, on that note, Contemporary Comrades signing out. Be stay tuned for the part two of this. Uh, we're going to be we're gonna safe, have, y'all. We're going to have a nice show next week about who knows what, but you'll find out when uh, when it goes or, down. Uh, contemporary Comrades signing out. Any last words? Big J uh, in the building, but about to be out the building. Those were my last words. Yeah, I'm good. Peace out. Later, Peace. Y'all.